so we haven't done muscle cars yet. This is our first muscle car of the series, and I gotta tell you, Dom said in the first Fast and Furious that he was scared of it. And I know exactly what he's talking about because I'm kind of terrified of this car. So, anyways, here goes nothing. <laughs> Movie cars has always been a hobby for me for as long as I've seen cars on TV. Um, I originally got uh, one of the first general leases from Dukes of Hazard, and ever since then it kind of gave me the bug. Um, I've probably owned about 75 different movie cars over that period. My name is Bob Hartley, I'm an owner and partner at Pitcher Car Warehouse, and this is my Fast and Furious Charger. This is the Fast and Furious Charger. <laughs> I don't know if I'm gonna be able to actually say anything during this entire drive. I think I'm just gonna end up laughing the entire time. I've always been a, a Mopar guy, a Dodge guy, just because everybody else had Chevys and Fords, and at the time, the, the lines of the Mopar were so much better to me, and so many more cool things, like the Hemi. You saw them in movies, Bullet. You know, Dirty Mary, Crazy Larry. Fast and Furious is probably the greatest car franchise ever created at this point, because, you know, you're into your seventh movie, and uh, everything about it celebrates the automobile. And of course, in the first movie, what did they do? They highlighted the Charger. I wanted to have something from Fast and Furious. When Fast 4 came out, and they had a bunch of cars that were uh, done being used, I bought a bunch from Universal. Only two of them had real Mopar drivetrains, and one of them included this car. And then the neat thing about the car was they also needed in Fast 5. So they called me and he said, hey, we need to use your car in this sequence. I'm like, sure. But mine was satin black. So they go, we want to paint it gloss black. So for the sequence in five, which Paul Walker actually drove this car, they did everything in this charger. Now in Fast 7, they go back to this style of charger again. So they called me and said, hey, we need to use your car. They took it to Atlanta. And now with just a change of wheels and some minor things, that car is also featured in Fast 7. The car is loud. Of course, the, the expectation with the blower is that this thing is going to do, you know, a 9, 10 second, quarter mile, which it won't, but it sounds like it will. And that to me is important because nobody messes with it. You go up to a stoplight, that thing's sitting there rumbling, you flip the switch, the blower starts turning on, and everybody just goes. I've been looking forward to driving this car for so long and it is not a disappointment by any means. This is exactly what I hoped it would be. It is a loud, hard, brutish American muscle car. This car is terrifying. I originally flew uh, in the military. I flew F-15s in Desert Storm. I was a pilot for United Airlines, and as my hobby on the side, I got into collecting movie cars. Um, I was watching a show on TV that talked about where they're made. 
I went to that place and figured out how to get my hands in the business. When a position opened up here to be a partner at Pitcher Car Warehouse, I jumped at it. And now we have about 850 cars. So we serve Warner Brothers, CBS, Paramount, Universal. We just did the Camaro on 21 and 22 Jump Street. Argo, Looper. We even have the Corvette that's in that new series of Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. In the old days, the studios would have vehicles on their own lot and they'd maintain them. But what if you did three Roman pictures in a row? You know, all your cowboy westerns, all your stuff sat there. So companies like ours grew out of that to supply everybody with vehicles that they need. Oh, I'm a big fan of Hollywood. Hollywood is, to me, not only the escapism of it, not only the, the living vicariously th through somebody else, but um, it's fun to see what you see on TV in real life and be part of it. My youngest son is in this Disney feature called Alexander and the Terrible, Horrible, Not Very Good Day. And he's in this yellow 2000 VW Beetle. And my wife was like, I wanna have that car. How can we get it? Now sure, it's nothing that anybody will recognize or know, but to her, it's a part of her son's involvement in Hollywood and it's special to her. And it's her first ability to have a real toy that she likes. And every time you see the top 10 vehicles in Hollywood, top 10 movie cars, the General Lee is always at the top of the list. The Fast and Furious Charger is gonna be the same thing. It's featured in six of the seven movies. That's something that is so iconic, so huge and historical that I'm just proud to be able to have a piece of that. Now my question to you is, would you rather spend $85,000 on something like this, that's a piece of cinema and has such character, or would you rather spend $85,000 on a Porsche? I choose this. That's loud. I don't recommend hitting the gas when you're next to another car.